is actually meet a real bird of prey, and it's one you'll find right here in Missouri. These guys are known as the hawks of the highway, and it's a very common hawk that you guys probably saw on your way over to the zoo this morning. It is a red-tailed hawk. So if you're driving down the road and you see a hawk sitting on a power line, odds are that's what you're seeing is a red-tailed hawk. So we're going to meet a catch up. She's going to make her way right up here on this roof. And she's going to show off some of the great adaptations that hawks may have. So the first thing you may notice is that nice hooked upper beak. Now that's going to kind of work like a nice and fork for her. So when she catches her food, she's going to be able to rip it open with that beak. She's also got a set of talons to help her with that as well. So as she flies across, she'll actually kind of stick her feet forward so she can grab onto that branch that she's looking for. Now red-tailed hawks are really cool birds of prey. They're going to be looking for things such as snakes, mice, bats, pretty much anything they can catch. It's a very important for our environment. So if you're going to have a red-tailed hawk costume, you're going to need to make sure and have those talons. That hooked up her beak we just talked about and a nice set of wings. <laughs> You've also got to have a brick red tail because that is how they get their name, uh, the red tailed hawk. So she's going to really show this off on this final dive that she does, which is her fa our favorite flight that this bird does at the bird show. So what she's going to do is try to dive into this window. So red tailed hawks, if you, saw them, if you see them when you're driving by, you'll notice they'll sit up there for a while. When they finally spot something though, they're going to actually go after after it by diving straight down from where they're at into a much smaller space. So you may notice that she actually bobs her head a little bit and what she's doing is triangulating the position so that she can determine exactly how this flight needs to be to make it just perfect. So she's going to use that sharp eyesight to try to figure out where she needs to go and then she will do her dive. Just like that. Now she lands in this window and eats her treat. You'll notice that nice brick red tail that I mentioned before. So it is always a very important part of the costume if you're going to be a red tail hawk. I think she did an excellent job and a nice cute waddle back through that window. So I'm hoping that Amy may have found me the perfect costume. Did someone say Amy? Yes, I, I did. did. I did. I found the perfect raptor costume. I'm very excited about this. Okay. I was listening very carefully to your mm -hmm. talk about Akechita. First of all, you're going to need really great eyesight. So okay. Check that out. Ooh, did you make this yourself? Uh, something like that. Yeah. Okay, Teamwork back there. Teamwork makes a dream work. You also have a hooked beak to dig into the prey like a knife and fork. You're going to need to grab your prey, right, Laura? So you've got That's high right. <laughs> oh, man, some pretty fancy feet work. And last but not least, you have to fly, so you've got to have a really great wingspan. All right, this is pretty awesome. Check it out. Okay, what do you think? I think she looks great. Yes, yes. <laughs> Oh, I did such a good job. You look amazing. Thank you so much, Amy. But um, now what happened to your costume? Well, you know, I like the penguin costume, but it's good to have options. I want to keep it fresh. So I think I'm still looking for the perfect Halloween costume. Well, I've got the perfect idea. Since I'm a bird of prey, mm -hmm. why don't you be a parrot? That's perfect. They're brightly colored, beautiful, very eye-catching. I love it. Yes. All right. Well, since I am a bird of prey, I am a, a parrot predator. Oh. Yeah. We wouldn't really want these guys like to that, meet, no. but I do have some of the perfect birds to come out later for you to meet and get some inspiration for your project. I'm excited. So okay. So while I head on back, why don't you go trick or treating with our audience? I like the way you think. Let's give Lauren a big round of applause before she heads off. Thank you, Lauren. You look amazing. All right. Does anybody here like trick or treating? Anybody? Mm -hmm. Okay, great. All right, now I don't have that much candy, but I'm going to try and make some giant throws for some candy. Oh, you're so far away. I might have to run up the stairs for you because you were the first hand I saw. All right. Okay. Of course, we have empty boxes in here because I love milk duds. Whoops. Okay. So here we go. Coming up here. I'm not meant for the Royals. Let me come up here. Okay. Candy. Pieces of candy for you. There you go. All right, I'm gonna try and throw this. This is not. This might not. Have, she's ready. She's ready for the royal. Ready? Oh, oh round of applause! Please recruit her for the royals. She's great. Okay, a couple more pieces of candy, and then I gotta learn about parrots. Okay. Woo. I'm getting my cardio after I 
trick-or-treating party. And it gets out of hand with my built dead problem. You know that. Yeah, I, I know you have a problem. And you know what? It's okay. So I was here to tell you how to build a perfect parrot costume, but I actually have a parrot friend who can help clean up this mess you've made Excellent. and show you what to do with your Halloween candy wrappers. Perfect timing. All right. I, I better take notes about this. Excellent. So I always keep a trusty Dry erase board from my tombstone at all times. We're going to be meeting Athos. She is a blue and gold macaw. Oh, she's beautiful. Now, parents like Athos here are actually really intelligent. They have the average intelligence of a two to four year old child, so they know that milk does are recyclable. Oh, goodness. Excellent. There we go. Because these are paper products. She also knows that other candy wrappers should make it into the trash instead of on the ground. Let's give her a round of applause. So what do you think, Amy? Can you be as smart as Athos here? I will do. I've got to read some books first. Yes, I think that'll but help. I hear that parents are great imitators. I am not going to imitate Athos in recycling. That sounds okay. awesome. Well, now that we have handled that, I think that you should be a macaw, but I think you should be a ruby macaw. Does that mean ruby red? Because red is my favorite color. I thought you would be Fantastic, like that. Yes. yes. Yep. We're going to be meeting Fiesta. Ooh, and she's awesome. going to show you how to be the perfect ruby macaw. Excellent. Now, ruby macaw. Of course, you need to have red in your costume. Uh -huh. yeah. um, but you also notice she's got all the colors of the rainbow. She looks like a rainbow streak oh, across the sky. She is. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, she's gorgeous. Now that excellent climbing she showed off is because she has zygodactyl toes. How do you spell that? You know, just sound it out. Zygodactyl. Okay, great. Now that means she has two toes pointing forward and two toes pointing back. Wow. That helps her to climb and grip on the slippery Did you feel that? Cool. Yeah. I felt the wind. Now, of course, yeah. you're going to need beautiful wings to help you fly, but you're also going to need a lovely long tail. I noticed hers, and it, it kind of changes shape as she flies, I noticed. Oh, that's right, Amy. See how she fans it out in the air? And that actually pushes down on it. That acts like a brake to help her stop when she gets close to her hand. Now, Take a look at that beak she's using to crack into that tasty snack. Mm. Her beak is actually so strong, she can apply almost 500 pounds of pressure. How strong is that? That is almost as strong as a lion's bite. Whoa. So those nutshells are no problem whatsoever for her, I presume. None. She can get into anything. Okay. So you're going to need a strong beak to help you get into all those jaw breakers, almond joys you're going to get. Excellent. That's what I need because I'm going to have a lot of candy with my cool costume. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Now, Amy, this last part is really important. Um, I know you wanted a group costume, right? Because you have tons of friends. Yeah, so these guys live in groups of 30 to 40 birds out in the wild. So you're going to need like 30, 40 friends. Is that what you had in mind? I think I can't think of the yeah, but sure, sure. Got it. Yeah. Our two. Sure. Now, friends. In order to be able to communicate with all those friends, these guys can yell so loudly. They can be heard from a oh mile away. Oh, we're going to be so... Uh, our, our neighbors are going to love us. Yes. Yeah, this mm -hmm. is exactly what they like in a trick-or-treat. Yeah. Okay. When you knock on that door, just scream trick-or-treat right now. <laughs> okay. They're going to love it. Okay. Well, I, it's really to recreate the costume, it's so it's to serve it justice. I think she did a great job. I think so, too. Let's give her a round of applause. Now, do you think she helped you 
cover everything you're going to need? Most definitely. I took a lot of thorough notes, but I want to go over there right, real let's, quickly let's for review. the audience, make sure I got all the fine details. So most importantly, color. I'm going to need almost every yes. color of the rainbow with an emphasis on red. Yes, your favorite color. Yes, I'm going to need a really large beak that can break into nutshells and other goodies. Absolutely. And most importantly, I'm going to need 40 friends, and we're all going to be so loud we can be heard a mile. Yes, I think you nailed that part. I love it. Okay, I think I got it, and I, I think I have the perfect costume backstage. Oh, really? As well. back. That's very convenient. It's a big coincidence, I know. Okay, so I'm going to make it interesting. Okay, yes. ready? If I can get dressed in my macaque costume in five seconds or less, you are all invited to come down to the stage to meet one of our birds. Does that sound good? Oh. Okay. And I love that. Do you guys think she can do it? Can do it? Oh, come on. You think she can do yeah. it? Yeah. Thank you. They believe in me. Okay, so you can all count down together. Feel free to count as slowly as you like. Here we go. Five, four, three, two, one. And Darcy? Uh, you are not Amy, and this is most definitely not a McCall. What happened? I made it. Uh, Did I make it? it? Did I make it? <laughs> uh, <laughs> not really. No. Is it five point one, five point two uh, seconds. Actually, you know what? Actually, what I meant was if I I do not get dressed in five seconds, then you're invited to come down to the stage. It was part of my trick to get them all a treat. Is that anybody still want to meet a bird? Who is it? Yeah. I okay. think we can awesome. make that happen. Excellent. So we are going to be rolling out our conservation donation box. 100% of the proceeds that go into this box go to support future generations of animals out in the wild. That's right. And if you took some photos today of perhaps Darcy's amazing penguin costume, my macaw costume, or any of the birds in our show, be sure to upload them to social media using the hashtag WowCreatingZoo. So we invite you guys down to get an up-close look at our birds, ask any questions that you might have, and talk with our trainers. That's right. And we hope you have a great day at the Kansas City Zoo. One more thing. Happy Halloween! Thanks, everybody! All right, you're all invited to come on down. We've got our blue and gold macaw that Lauren's holding. And I'm going to bring out a feather so you can experience what those feathers feel like. Do you guys want to go down and ask questions? Does anybody want to go ask questions? Yes? There is no.